So this is the second part of this um, redox reaction galvanic video. Now I've already talked about how we got to this. If you haven't watched the first one, please go and watch that and then come back and have a look at this. But this is the reaction occurring in this galvanic cell. I have my copper here being reduced to copper solid and my zinc solid being oxidized into zinc ions. Now I was going through the terminology. Now, the cathode and the anode are the names given to the electrodes. The cathode is given is a name given to the reduction side of it. So the where the reduction occurs, that's known as a cathode. And in this cell, it's the copper over here that's being reduced. The anode is what we call the thing being oxidized or the electrode where oxidation occurs. And that's our zinc electrode over there. So my copper is my anode and my, sorry, my copper is my cathode and my zinc is my anode. Polarity is about the charge that we give, or the um, yeah, the charge that we give these electrodes. Now, the cathode is known as the positive electrode, and the anode is known as the negative electrode. So, therefore, my copper is my positive cathode, and my zinc is my negative anode. Now, in an electrical circuit, we need to understand where the electrons are moving to, or the flow of electrons. Now, that revolves around our reactions. Now you can see here that my copper is undergoing reduction. That means it's gaining electrons. So what that means is the electrons are starting here at my zinc and they're moving with me all the way over here to my copper. So therefore, the flow of electrons is from my zinc electrode towards my copper electrode. Now you'll remember that the cathode is where reduction occurs. Reduction is gaining electrons. What that means is that the electrons are always going to flow towards your cathode because that's just how it has to work because reduction is gaining, electrons are going to where they're being gained. Lastly, the reason we have this other thing connecting our two cells, which is called the salt bridge, is to even out the overall charge. Now, in chemistry, we like most things to be neutral. So that means we need to have a balance in charge in general. So our salt bridge is made up of two ions, a positive and a negative ion. The reason we have this is so we can balance out where these electrons are going. Now, as we said, electrons are moving towards the cathode. So that means the positive ion in my salt bridge must flow towards my cathode. And that is there to balance out the negative charge being gained by that electron. So if the positive ion is going towards my cathode, my negative ion is going towards my anode because we need to balance that charge.